I'm going to show you how to use the scanner class in Java to read a comma separated value file, CSV if you will. I'm going to use the example of a person class, so uh, that's that's what I want to put the entries I have into. So I have a, I have a file full of people, nor a file full of people, just age and name, and in the person class I just said. Well, again, all persons represented by an age and a name. Convenient. Nope, didn't want to do that. <clears throat> so I'm looking to construct a person object per line of this file. Let's get going. <clears throat> first things first, there's a few things I need to import. I'm going to use an array list to store everything. So that's from Java Util, uh, array list, almost read by mine. Um, Scanners and util. I'm also going to need to import uh, the file class. Okay, great. <clears throat> now let's jump down here. I'm going to create the array list I'm going to store my people in. Person cut people. Great. So that creates an empty array list. Remember, an array list is the data structure. It keeps uh, its items in order, so it's people in order. <clears throat> it's like an array, but it has a dynamic size to it. So it's now an empty array list. I'm going to, let's see, I need to make an, uh, let's call this person file. <clears throat> so again, my, this file is just in the root of my project directory, <clears throat> so I can just reference it directly with its name. Now I'm going to, <clears throat> um, so if, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. So this is a little shortcut. I'm just gonna shortcut it. <clears throat> Um, I'm just going to create this file right here and then immediately pass to the scanner. Scanner's not happy because, oh, java.io, uh, basically it throws a file not found exception. I'm going to choose to do that, which means now the main method throws a file not found exception. Basically, I'm choosing not to handle the exception at all. I'm just saying, hey, if you call main, you got to deal with this now. <clears throat> Great. Now, this is the trickiest part. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to, before I get to the trickiest part, I'm going to create a couple variables just to store <clears throat> uh, the person's name and age in. So, first things first, I need to... Delimiter, comma, comma, or new line. So a delimiter <clears throat> is some sort of value that marks the boundaries of items in, in like a sequence, let's say. <clears throat> in this case, our delimiter, not why I say it's the trickiest part, there's actually two for this sort of simple CSV file. There's this comma <clears throat> that separates fields, if you will, and then the new line separates, well, each person. So I actually have to specify both. If I specify one or the other, it's not going to read it correctly. <clears throat> so I need to, something's off here. Okay. So of set, they use use delimiter. I don't, it's just Java, goodness. Now this is another weird part. <clears throat> I have comma, this vertical line, which you sometimes call a pipe, and slash n for new line. So this is an example of a simple regular expression. <clears throat> and what it's saying is, it's gonna look for a pattern. That's what a regular expression specifies, is some sort of pattern. The pattern is comma or new line. And the vertical pipe is just like a logical or in this setting. So it's saying, ah, comma or new line. 
while there are more fields, create people. So I'm going to use has next. It sounds very vague because it is. It just means it's going <coughs> to, well, it says while there's at least one more sort of field left, that is, there's something until the next delimiter, <coughs> or there's at least something left in the file that's going to return true. I'm going to get the uh, person's name, get the person's age. Create a new person. So my goal, I'm just going to print out the people. Um, I'm going to say next, because that's what you do to get a string. And then for the age, I'm going to say input uh, next int. And what I'm, I'm going to Again, use my little trick. I'm going to just make a new person and give it to the array list just straight away. And there we go. I'm just going to do that. So I create a person, giving it the name and the age. That's immediately passed to the add method. So it gets dumped into this array list full of people. I'm going to print out the whole array list. Hopefully it'll show me something nice and not an exception. Let's go. Yes. So there we go. We see <clears throat> because it effectively just calls the two string method. So we can see, well, there goes my code expanding. I have name age colon or the literal string age colon what the actual person's age is. I see that here. Fantastic. Everything works. Okay. That's reading a CSV with scanner in Java. Beautiful.